today we're going to be taking you through Uphold's vault. Before we dive into the vault, let's quickly talk about Uphold. So Uphold is a digital money platform serving millions of people across the globe. They offer a way to buy, convert and transact in various currencies, cryptocurrencies and commodities. Uphold is known for bridging the gap between traditional finance and digital currencies, trying to make it easier for everyday users to navigate the crypto world. So what exactly is the Uphold Vault? Well, imagine a safe where you can keep your digital currencies like Bitcoin or Ripple, knowing they're secure yet easily accessible whenever you want to make a trade. That's what Vault offers. It's a special feature by Uphold that combines the safety of having full control of your assets, like you would with a traditional bank safe, with the ease of making trades on a platform known for its robust security and user-friendly interface. And Vault stands out because it offers something called assisted self-custody. This means you're in control and you hold the keys to your crypto, ensuring only you can access your funds. And if you were ever to lose your keys, there's a backup plan to help you to recover your assets without the need to panic. And you can move your assets from the vault to the Uphold trading platform whenever you want, seamlessly. Starting with Vault is simple. With just a few taps on the Uphold mobile app, you're set up with a secure place for your digital currencies ready to trade, hold or convert as you see fit. And in this guide, we're going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started with the Uphold Vault. So let's jump in. Now I'm going to be under the assumption that you've already got an Uphold account. If you don't, there'll be a sign up link in the summary below. And I've also got a full Uphold app tutorial available. So once you've logged into the Uphold app, you can then reach the Vault by heading to the menu bar at the bottom of the screen. Then tap the icon on the far right that looks like a safe or a vault. And it provides some information here in relation to the Uphold Vault. Plus it explains that Bitcoin and XRP are the two cryptos that are initially available on Vault. And they've got plans to incorporate additional tokens and networks throughout 2024. Now the Vault is a subscription-based service, which is $49.99 for a year, or a monthly subscription is £4.99. And you can cancel this at any time. Signing up is easy and I'm using an iPhone, so to sign up I can just use Apple Pay. Then once you've signed up, you're going to be prompted to set up your keys. To move your assets, you're going to need two of the three keys, which are the Vault key, which is stored on your device and cloud, the Backup key, which is stored offline by you, and the Uphold key, which Uphold keep hold of for you. And the great thing about this is if you do lose one of these, you can still access your assets. So when we create our vault, first you're going to be provided with your vault key, which as I said is stored in the cloud, and you just need to go ahead and save it. Next is the backup key, which is a traditional 12 word recovery phrase that you're going to need to write down somewhere safe and away from any prying eyes. Once that's written down, you'll then need to confirm that you've written them down correctly and in order by placing them in the right order. Once that's verified, you'll see that this one is stored with Uphold and this key works with either the backup key or the vault key. And we'll talk a little bit more about this later. So when we tap continue, we're then provided with a prompt before you start using vault. And that's that you'll lose access to your vault if you lose both your primary vault and your backup keys at the same time. Uphold can only replace one key at a time. And this is more secure and more of a backup than you would have when you're solely storing a recovery phrase for a wallet. And you'll need to tick the box that you've read and agreed to the vault's T's and C's, and then confirm. The vault will then be displayed, and from here you can see there's BTC and XRP vaults. As I said earlier, there are only two cryptos available at the time of this recording. And you need to tap to create these vaults. I'm going to start with Bitcoin. Now just before we start depositing our funds, I'm going to quickly show you around the other options on the screen. So in the top left is a way that you can navigate back to the Uphold app. The top right has an icon with three dots. And when I tap on that, it comes up with some Vault FAQs and some ways that we can manage our subscription. Under the XRP and Bitcoin vaults is also your key health check, and it's a way that you can manage your keys. 
so you can get a new backup key from here and see some information about your keys. But let's head back now so that we can start securely storing our Bitcoin in our vault. And you'll obviously need some Bitcoin or XRP in your wallet. If you don't already have some, you can buy it from the Uphold app. And you can do that with an active balance or using the likes of Apple Pay. I'm going to go ahead now quickly and buy some XRP too, so that I can show you with both examples. So now that I have some Bitcoin and XRP in my Uphold account, I can now show you how to deposit this into your vault. And tap on Bitcoin. As it states here, just bear in mind that the network fee to move this crypto from Uphold and into your vault isn't covered by Uphold, so you will have to pay a fee. Let's deposit BTC. And you're then prompted to input how much BTC that you want to put into the vault. And you can manually enter this in or choose max and transfer all of your Uphold balance. And it will show the available balance from Uphold underneath. Just note here that when you're setting up a BTC vault, you're going to be required to deposit at least 0.00001 BTC to cover the network costs. And you can also check out this information on their FAQs. And it'll also show the network fee to transfer this across, which is pretty minimal at just 52p. To go ahead and deposit, swipe to confirm. And your transaction will then start to transfer across and you'll find that your balance in Uphold will then reflect this fund movement. So whilst that's pending, I'm just going to move on to depositing XRP into my vault too. When setting up an XRP vault, you are required to deposit at least 12 XRP, and this is also the reserve amount, meaning that to keep your address active, the XRP ledger requires a reserve of 12 XRP. And if you later want to withdraw your reserve, you'll need to delete the vault, but this can be reopened. I'm going to transfer the maximum amount again now and then swipe to confirm the transfer. And once that's complete, your crypto is now safely stored under your control in the vault. And if we were to head back to Uphold now, you'll see that neither of the funds are available to trade with and that's because they're stored completely separately. When you're ready to start trading with your vaulted crypto, you can then simply move it back to the Uphold exchange by tapping on the crypto's vault and I'm going to show you now this with Bitcoin. Choosing to withdraw to Uphold, and you're then reversing the process of depositing as we did earlier, by entering the amount that you'd like to withdraw, or choosing Max. Then again, swiping to Confirm. And your funds will then be available to trade or sell if you wish. As I said, if you do need further help with that, then we do have a full tutorial available. Now, if you want to transfer your funds from Vault into any third-party wallet, you can do that using the steps outlined in their FAQs. And this involves launching their Vault Assist tool, entering your address, and then your Vault and backup keys. Just note though that for regulatory reasons, only assets originating in and transferred from Uphold Trading Account can be withdrawn from the Vault back into your trading account. So let's discuss now how you will recover your account. So self-custodial solutions like the Uphold Vault usually place the responsibility of key safety solely on the individual. And losing these keys often means that assets are irretrievably lost. But Vault incorporates multiple safeguards to enhance the security of your keys, while also offering options of key replacement just in case one is lost or compromised. So if you were to lose the Vault key, you can recover this key in one of two ways. You can either access the copy that you were prompted to store in your iCloud or Google Drive account when you activated the Vault account and then re-enter that into the app. Or if you did fail to make that copy or for whatever reason you've lost access to it, you can initiate the process by tapping on Manage Keys on the Vault homepage. And this allows you to use your backup key with the Uphold key to replace your Vault key. If you were to lose your backup key instead or if you think it could be compromised, you can initiate a process in the Uphold app that combines your Vault key with the Uphold key to replace it. And as an additional safety precaution, Uphold will need to confirm your identity as part of the process just to generate a new Vault key or a backup key. And this involves performing a liveness check where they're going to ask you to take a selfie and match that against the government-issued ID that they have on file for you.